Yes. What is going on everybody, Weedle to Needle here, and we are backing in with another Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle, and this one's going to be against Glenn, a person I battle off my Discord server, so if you guys are interested in my Discord chat, random place to hang out and find battles, definitely check out my Discord, a link will be in the description. Now I'm not going to get too much into team period with this game, we're having an underused period underused to your battle today as I'm showcasing my legit shiny coma oath that I did catch in my recent video so if you guys don't believe that this is a legit shiny coma oath in a beast ball I know for Lucifer said it was impossible but I proved him wrong man for those fighters needs to respect my authority anyway turn one my opponent's going to lead off with this Napoleon and Coma O obviously has a pretty good matchup against Napoleon to be honest with you I let off with Coma O just because I wanted to lead off my legit shiny Coma O turn one but it ended up working out for me because my opponent must have expected hit power down or something so turn one I'm going to set up the dragon dance just because I want to get my attack up it's income still fable obviously a pretty good counter to um, Coma O but I'm going to go for my poison Z move because I EV trained this thing to be a dragon dancer probably Coma O is the most viable set, though it does get learned belly drum, so maybe I could have given it like a sub belly drum move set. But regardless, gonna go for my acid down more acid downpour here at plus one attack. I'm hoping that I pack enough of a punch. I do have a perfect attack, speed, defense, and HP IV because I did chain the SOS for so damn long. I think it was like over at least. It went over 255, which resets the chain, then it went like 140 again. It went like a lot. <laughs> but anyway, in comes Hydreigon now, and uh, Koma O doesn't want to stay in on Hydreigon because Hydreigons are like 9 out of 10 times. They're usually choice scarfed, so I'm not staying in on that shit. So I'm going to bring in my Empoleon here onto the Draco Meteor as I should be able to tank this rather nicely. And um, I am Empoleon. I'm not a defensive Empoleon though, I'm actually Agility Empoleon because Agility, agility Empoleon is actually really fun to use. But my opponent actually has his own. Napoleon pretty much cock blocks mine in every way because they don't carry like the typical support set. I'm actually an offensive one so I lose to a support set because I'll do zero damage. So I'm going to decide to double switch into my Hippowdon. I didn't expect this Napoleon to come in. I just wanted to set up the sand but Napoleon comes flying in and I'm like okay this is pretty bad but I can earthquake and do some damage to him as my opponent is just going to choose to go for the Scald. I didn't think he'd actually stay in and go for Scald but I guess he can just get that skillful burn but thankfully Iggy Azalea does not get burned from the, the Scald as I'm just going to lay up my stealth rocks. The main reason why I wanted to lay up my rocks was just because in case my opponent wants to defog them away with his Napoleon, that'll give me a free switch into my Tark, my Gigalith. This is also a legit shiny that I bred back in my X and Y days. Good times, man. And now my opponent is going to defog away the stealth rocks. Pretty much what I was counting on. And now I have my Sand Force. I can go for Earthquake. I should be able to one shot Napoleon. But unfortunately, he outspeeds me. Hoping Skull does not burn me. But we already know how this is going to go. He's going to burn me. But I'm pretty much just asking for it when I'm switching into Empoleon. I'm asking not to, I'm just, you know, I'm like, maybe I can take and scald and one shot him with Earthquake, or I can just get burned and then make my um entire sand effort useless. So that was a little bit unfortunate. Um, Giga looks pretty much useless for the entirety of the game now. Um, sand Force with Stone Edge, Heavy Slam, and Earthquake was my set with the Assault Fest. Um, it actually tanks attacks really well as a scald, um, even with a critical hit, which kind of sucks, bounces off. And I can just go for Earthquake. I should be able to knock him out because of Sand Force. I mean, the first one did around half HP, but Empoleon does live with like a sliver of HP. Really frustrating. If he didn't burn me there, he would have been one shot by the Earthquake, and I'd still have a very healthy Gigalith to use in this battle, but now Gigalith's pretty much useless. But I am going to save my Gigalith for later in case I can use him for Death Water or something. I'm just going to choose to bring in my Celebi. Celebi should be able to take care of Napoleon now that's at no HP. As my opponent just decides to lay out the Stealth Rocks again anyway, he realized that he's like at 2 HP, so there's no point in just knocking me out. Good play on his part. But um, I should be able to knock out this Napoleon with my Celebi, thankfully. Um, I do carry Hidden Power Fire. This is the Pokebank Celebi they gave out when Pokebank first came out. And it does actually have a naive nature, so it doesn't have the greatest nature in the world. But um, definitely 10 bits better for Offensive Celebi, but I'm stuck with naive. But it has Hidden Power Fire, which is uh, pretty much by the only reason why I'm using it. Um, having a hidden power, having a decent hidden power on like a legendary Pokemon is so rare. But um, I've, I've hunted for a couple of, in my past days, so I'm gonna switch up my Celebi here and bring in my Fappy Heat, my Empoleon, as I'm just gonna switch into Draco Meteor, pretty much just sacking it off. I actually was sacking enough to Dark Pulse, but my opponent just goes for Draco Meteor for whatever reason. Um, maybe he was expecting Koma O to switch in, 
or he just didn't want to give my Koma Oa free switch, which is fair enough, I guess. But yeah, I'm gonna, just going to sack off my Empoleon. Unfortunately, it was pretty much <laughs> freaking pivot fodder, unfortunately. I really wanted to use Agility Empoleon, but I do have a video where I use Agility Empoleon to very good success. Very good success. So I'll probably put that in the end screen of this video, just because I teased you guys with the Agility Empoleon. So down goes my Empoleon. I said Empoleon like 20 times in the past sentence, and unfortunate, but it's okay. I'm going to bring in my Celebi here, and I know High Dragon's at minus 4 special attack, so now's my chance to bring in the Celebi. And um, he's going to bring in the Swallow here. I do carry Coma up with Soundproof, so Boom Burst Swallow isn't actually an issue, but I'm going to decide to go for Healing Wish. It may seem really weird to do this early on, but it was pretty much my only opportunity to do it because he still has Scarf High Dragon and Swallow, which can easily one-shot Celebi or come close to it, and he also has Scizor, so overall not the best matchup for me. But I'm just going to go for Healing Wish here because his Empoleon's dead. I don't need. I no longer need a Skull Twitch in it now. I can Healing Wish, get rid of my Burn because Z, it's not in Z Memento. Healing Wish actually removes status conditions, which is wonderful. As now the Swallow's just going to choose to go for U-Turn because he obviously cannot touch me because I am an Assault Vest Gigalith. And now he's going to bring this Tyrantrum on me. As I'm just going to choose to go for the Stab Stone Edge. Wow. Unfortunately, I do miss the Stone Edge. A little bit unlucky. As now my opponent actually ends up carrying Rock Polish. I stayed in just in case he wanted to go for Dragon Dance, but Rock Polish is probably what you need to outspeed stuff in the U tier, honestly. I mean, Dragon Dance is probably too slow to actually do anything, but Rock Polish can provide that immediate speed threat. But I don't want to stay in with my Gigalith because he still has the Swallow, and I want to get switched into the Swallow and the Hydreigon, so Assault Us with the Sands probably my best bet here, as I do carry the Smooth Rock with my Apowdon, so I'm just going to sack it off here to the uh, Tyrantrum. As now he's just going to choose to go for the Earthquake. Not too sure why I didn't just go for Outrage there, but I guess he did just didn't want to um, lock himself in Outrage maybe? Not too sure, but he only has like two life orb hits left anyway, so I should be good to just sack off my Hippo here. There's no reason to keep it anymore. I already applied the Sand and I still have a good six turns to use it, so down goes my Hippo as the Tyrantrum is going to die from the life orb recoil as well, so down that thing goes. Thankfully I didn't have to bring in my Infernape to revenge kill it, as now my opponent is going to decide to bring in his Hydreigon, and now I'm going to bring in my Tarek once again. I mean, there was a chance he would have brought in Scizor, but I also carry Infernape, so I thought him bringing in Scizor, Scizor would have been rather risky. But anyway, in comes Hydreigon, as now he's just going to go for the Scarf Dark Pulse. That's not going to do any damage. My Assault Bus Kickle is just... Mm, and Stone Edge is nearly Oko's, but Hydreigon has very good base defenses and HP because it's a pseudo-legendary. Pseudo-legendaries have very good base defenses overall, so I'm not surprised that Stone Edge did not one shot. But I'm going to bring in my Koma O here because I know he's Choice Scarf because there's no reason why I would have brought in on my Koma O earlier. If he wasn't Choice Scarf, unless he's really a man that wants to like flex and like bait the Choice Scarf, but only I do that, okay? Um, most people don't um, throw out Pokemon to bait the bluff the Choice Scarf unless they're like really good players, but then it's just a mind game and that's just a whole other story. But yeah, in comes my Koma O to take the Dark Pulse. I take it very well considering I have a low spit off IV. Well, actually it's like around 20-ish. It's The um, judge said like it was okay, like it wasn't like shit. He didn't say it was like garbage. He said that it was garbage with the special attack, but the special defense was not garbage. So pretty much the best Koma O I could really ask for honestly for a legit shiny Koma O that I'll be giving away. In this video, so you guys already know the details for that, which is at the beginning of the video. I'm gonna go for the Sky Uppercut on the Scizor. It's not gonna do any damage because Sky Uppercut is a shitty move. They should have definitely given Koma O like close combat or like high jump kick or like anything. <laughs> but no, they gave it Sky Uppercut. I mean, Sky Uppercut's a cool looking move, don't get me wrong, but like, come on, man. Like, you're gonna introduce a dragon fighting type and then not give it a good fighting stab? Like, they better give this thing Drain Punch and not. With the move tutors if they give this thing drain punch it might actually become pretty damn good but anyway i'm gonna bring in my bananas here my infernape now this one is not a legit shiny um this is one that someone gen me because i wanted a nasty plot infernape with vacuum wave and this nickname is my genius though bananas probably the best infernape nickname i've come up with bullet punch it plus two almost knocks me out but thankfully infernape is tank it I'm gonna go for the flamethrower with my not legit shiny infernape unfortunately the Gigalith and the Coma O are legit, but this Infernape, unfortunately, not a legit shiny. I do admit to it, though, so can you call me a bad person? I mean, I guess you can. I mean, the only reason why I'm using this anyway is because I can't get vacuum by myself because it's a Gen 4 tutor move, and I don't have access to black and white. Otherwise, I probably would get it myself. Anyway, gonna go for Vacuum Wave onto the Swallow. Just do a really big chunk of damage, but, you know, I'm gonna lose my Infernape to the Life Orb Recoil, but all I have left is my Gigalith, and I'm hoping that without the Sand that I can take a uh, Spec Swallow's Boom Burst. 
So I'm going to bring in my Gigalith here. I mean, after Rock's damage, it's kind of iffy if I could take a Boom Burst, because I know Spaxwell hits incredibly hard with the buffs in Sun and Moon, so I'm pretty much hoping that Gigalith can take the heat here. And thankfully, Gigalith lives with 9 HP, and I'm just not going to risk Stone Edge missing, because fuck that. I'm going to go for Heavy Slam and knock out the Swallow. In retrospect, I could have clicked Explosion and actually tied the game, but I wanted to actually win a battle, because I up the past two battles I uploaded were losses, so I may as well make up for that with a very close win. I hope you guys did enjoy that battle. If you enjoyed that very close Wi-Fi battle, please be sure to hit the like button, as it's the best way to support my YouTube channel. And if you're joining the giveaway, um, feel free to leave a like. I mean, you don't have to. I'm not going to like ask you. It's not like a demand. You have to be subscribed and like the video to get in this giveaway. No, just like mention in the comment that you want to be entered in the raffle, and I'll put your name in. But yeah, you know, feel free to drop a like if you want to support me in the meantime. But anyway, the question of the day is going to be what is your favorite shiny Pokemon design throughout the entire series? Let me know in the comments down below. I mean, I've probably asked this question before, but I mean, I'm giving away a legit shiny Como O, so I may as well ask it again. Now, my favorite shiny designs have got to be. Shiny Sea Viper looks really cool. Shiny Sea Viper and Shiny Chatout look absolutely amazing to me. I love their designs a lot and Shiny Two Cannon. I just love like the rainbowy looking shinies. Like that looks really sick. And I think they should make more shinies look rainbowish. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite shiny design is. And uh, yeah, I'll check you guys in my next video. Alright, peace.